water signs welcome back for your mid-month reading now if you're wanting to make a booking you can go to the link directly below if you're new um, and you want to follow please click the bell and then you can partake in some of our live sessions okay now this month in the area of love guys I've pulled the cards ahead of time but I'm gonna uh, pull clarification cards otherwise it'll be a super long reading um, you've got some sense of a choice that you're needing to make this month and it can be that you're trying to be very direct and decisive about how you deal with this situation that's coming through in the area of love. Now it can be who you want um, and what you want out of this given situation. It might be you're actually looking at a 3D nature of a current relationship or one in which you're manifesting in or wanting to move towards. And you're trying to grasp what you're wanting out of the situation, if it's based on love or if it's based on other. Um, and it doesn't have to just be at that basis. It can be being very clear about what you're wanting almost at the aspect of a manifestation and a frequency. It can be that some of your concerns that are coming up might be directly connected to a person who left you. Uh, it can also be that you're concerned about what's going to transpire if you don't directly deal with the situation in a correct manner. Now, some of it can be uh, the way in which the communication's coming through. That can cause a lot of conflict. That can be if you're not hearing from this person, you're wondering how to go about it and what you're going to do in the midst of waiting um, and, and how to apply your energy in the given situation. You also realize that although you have a desire for this person or with this person, it's going to take both of you working together in order to move the energy of the relationship forward. Okay, where it's going. In the 3D, it's going to be a way in which you're going to apply your energy. It's going to have to be quite, um, how would I put it? It might be throwing caution to the wind. Uh, where you're taking on new energy within the relationship. That can be you or this person because the energies can go both ways. Uh, you getting to a point where you realize that you need to jump in the deep end, and I feel you guys might be doing that energetically uh, in your life connected to this relationship. You also know that you have to keep it to the point where some healing in the connection needs to happen. Um, and you, to take it to that next level, you need to manage the energy correctly to get the best out of the situation. I'm just trying to see if I'm picking anything else up energetically wise. It can be you're looking at it from an external point of view as well, from your higher self of what happened previously to where you want it to go from here. Now, for some of you, this can be a divine union, a brand new offer, a twin flame or soulmate connection. Um, you're feeling that you're driving your energy towards this force or you're trying to come to that whole point and working out what that means for you. It can be that you're feeling more grounded in order to make solid decisions in your romantic life, be it with this person or another person. But again, your crowning card is that you're trying to make healthy choices towards where you're wanting to move. You're also looking at where the pitfalls in the connection were with you or with this other person or with your current partnership and how you can kind of walk around those areas or directly heal those areas so that the same situation doesn't occur again. Now again, this can be Connected to a Leo that you're having to gain strength in movement and pick up pieces and move forward. But it can also be feeling um, that there is healing that needs to come about in an aspect of strength. Because when I hear strength, the first thing I'm, I'm hearing is Leo. Um, and something transpiring previously of an energy shift around the Lionsgate portal on the 8th of the 8th. Now... Why you're moving about this situation is because you feel spiritually you made an incorrect choice and you're trying to rectify it. You also do feel that if you do this, it's actually going to be a change for the better and you're going to have a better outcome to the situation. <clears throat> okay. They are going to be big changes though and it is going to take radical change. So in order for this to move forward, you do realize that there has to be some big changes in order for that to happen. 
uh, why you're doing it is because you're ready to actually take those big challenges and definitely you're wanting changes to happen for the better you don't want to keep having tower moments so you're realizing where in your life at a 3d level that's not just in the romantic area even though this is a romantic reading it's also about how you can apply yourself within your life to provide a solid foundation for a romantic future okay so how this is going to come about your frequency is going to change so with your frequency changing in your mindset i feel as though you guys had to retreat to do a bit of meditation on the situation and through that meditation you've come to a realization of what you feel spiritually is correct for you and you're trying to move that energy forward now how you're going to do it is more internally connected to you making some firm decisions about what you feel is fair and balanced yes it's going to take a lot of courage but you do have the tools in order for that to happen um and i feel it's like you're tying up loose ends and it, it can be at a work level it can be but it doesn't feel just an emotional level i feel many of you have already dealt with it at the emotional level basis it feels more you have the tools or it's just a very decisive energy um coming through in the cards it's going to cause upheaval though and it may be that you need to create this upheaval or a physical upheaval occurs in your life in order for this fresh start to happen now the fresh start can be with a relationship that you're currently in or with another one um, that you're moving towards now to get this balance and help with this, I'm going to pull some chakra cards. And that's at a manifestation level for you to get the best out of your situation. Okay. Interesting. Okay, you were concerned about money and I feel you've come out of that energy now. Okay, so it might be that you've tied up loose ends in the area of finances. Your crown chakra is also, you're following your intuition, so you're feeling safer in order to do that. And again, you're following your intuition, so you're more balanced in order to make this change happen. also you feel that you need to take responsibility and you feel in order to do that you needed to make some changes in order for that to happen so what was blocking you was the finances and the 3d nature of the situation so if you can get those areas balanced it's going to be the best at an emotional level if you can purge that area what you can do is get your sacral chakra activated to a point where you're eating green based diet or yellow based food um, try and meditate do some walking, um, trust your intuition because you've definitely got the mind and the crown chakra which is all that aspect of manifestation and keep picturing the best possible outcome in your mind and that should help you move forward this month. Talk to you later.